Ten years ago, Patrick Stillman decided to make a serious commitment to his art. I'm um, basically a acrylic painter. For me, it's all about the movement of the physical body. And so I do dancers, surfers, skateboarders. I find that that movement, there's a sensuality and an energy that's created that I try to capture in my work. As he was developing his craft, he was also trying to figure out how to create a business that would look to the intersection of art and commerce. There are a lot of difficult questions that arise when you want to become a professional artist. How do you relate to galleries? How do you get in? How do you price your work? And I learned quickly that by meeting and discussing things with other artists and building community, it started breaking down the barriers of understanding the mechanics of art and in the sense of business. Stillman looked to his own personal experiences, saw what was most needed to help his fellow artists, and then created what he calls an arts incubator. So we're at the studio door, which is in the heart of North Park. I think it's an ideal place for us to really build community, both for the artists and for San Diego. Artist Linda Literal is showcased at the studio door, which she says acknowledges the commercial aspects of being an artist. Because a lot of artists like myself really don't like that part of the art world. So Patrick is helping artists to discover that path of showing your work and selling it. It's real clear that most artists have a wonderful creative side, but they struggle with the business side. <laughs> and so that's where the studio door focuses. How can we help the creative marketplace grow? both for the artist and for art lovers. The Studio Door benefits from being run by an artist who understands firsthand how daunting it can be to create a work that you feel has intrinsic value and then have to learn how to place a dollar value on that in order to make a living. So the Studio Door focuses on two things. One, assisting artists with art to market knowledge. And two, creating opportunities that will help artists grow by providing working studio space, an online presence, and curating exhibits like the current 50 to Watch. 50 artists um, have been selected to represent San Diego's visual arts. And they're being um, seen in two shows, an online gallery, and going out to 2,000 galleries across the country in the form of a publication that we've created. Artist Chris Smith is one of the 50 to watch. It feels really good. It's a great opportunity, and we're getting out there in a lot of places. Patrick is great at promoting that. This is Crawling from the Wreckage. It was inspired by old uh, Andy Warhol clips where he used to take from newspapers, car accidents, and so then you have like the yellow for the stripes in the road, the black, the white, and then kind of how it just has that feel of, of wreckage. Hi, I'm Stefan Talian. I'm from Slovakia, living in San Diego, and I'm in Studio Door, amazing space. This is my painting, Calm After the Storm. There's a lot of emotions there. It's a piece of my life, and that's what I do, painting my feelings. <laughs> and this is my painting here. It's called Meditation 18. The painting that I do is mostly internal work. It's about meditating and finding my creative source and pr trying to put it on a canvas. The visual art scene today, especially in San Diego, covers a lot of ground. And it was important to make sure that we were kind of highlighting all the different styles that are available in San Diego. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest thing about his shows is that there's a little bit of something for everybody. And maybe even a few things that will surprise you. But maybe the biggest surprise is the practical approach Stillman is taking to something fueled by such intangible things as creativity, imagination, and inspiration. Beth Agamondo, KPBS News.